गुड इवनिंग लक्षाई हेलो गुड इवनिंग मैम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंग्रेचुलेशन वेरी बिग कंग्रेचुलेशन टू यू फॉर सेक्यूरिंग सच ए गुड मार्क्स एंड सच ए गुड पोजिशन इन द Institute exam, super specialty exam, and uh, being my specialty, I'm very happy to see uh, students coming up, liking this specialty and being qualified in the exams. Okay, and uh, uh, so I'm very happy and proud to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Lakshay to this evening. Okay, so okay, so let's start. Uh, those who are seeing this, uh, our chat, let them have an introduction about you. So Lakshay, just tell me. how you started your medical journey and uh, till till now where are you till now uh i am dr lakshay uh, i am the i did my mbbs from the vardhama mahavir medical college new delhi and i did my i am currently pursuing my ms general surgery in pgi chandigarh i am a localite from chandigarh so that's why i wanted always wanted to come to chandigarh for doing my ms but being from vmmc just opposite to aims it was also my dream that i wanted to go to sadak par which we call it in our college that okay. i always wanted to cross that road and go to the other side of the road and finally after 12 years of starting of my medical journey now it's coming true finally i am going to that dream is so so that means you have decided to select or join aims delhi For your MCH course, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay, so I'm very double happy for you because uh, I'm also I also studied at AIMS and I was uh, uh, personally I have a lot of liking for Delhi and I used to uh, walk inside the Saptajang Hospital to go to my hostel, Trauma Center Hostel. So <laughs> I have very good memories about AIMS, Saptajang, and Delhi. So okay. Uh, So now, uh, the, uh, when I was talking to Dr. Sumit, who was a first rank holder, also he is also just about to finish his MS. He is having his exams next week. So you also are doing uh, MS right now. So I am very much surprised because I know many people who are preparing for one year but still could not qualify uh, the INISS Part One. But uh, you both of you managed uh, to get good marks and qualify in Part One uh, to reach uh, till this level. so can you just tell uh, for uh, because uh, when you're doing your ms uh, absolutely you have uh, uh, no exposure to specialties like uh, neurosurgery or uh, cardiac surgery other than probably a one month posting or one and a half months posting during your super specialty training right yes. otherwise uh, during your general surgery teachings never this subject comes uh, when we compare to the onco surgery or gastro surgery or uro you learn a lot about them in your general surgery classes so it is a little difficult i always feel unless you have a core passion to this subject it's very difficult to study this uh, among other general surgery topics so exactly for how many months did you prepare uh, with this exam in your mind actually ma'am in pgi chandigarh we have one month posting in first and second semester in super specialty so i had one month posting during first year of my ms in ctvs department and at that time only i decided that i will take thesis also in ctvs only and then in my fourth and fifth semester i had a one one and a half month another posting in ctvs so it was a cumulative two and a half month posting so i always planned my matlab curriculum in a way that in whichever super specialty i was posted i had to cover a minimum syllabus so that i am aware of the basic idea of the subject where i am posted and so that i can correlate with the patients i am seeing in the ward so i had a little bit of the knowledge of the ctvs even before i started preparing it for mulup but uh, when the marrow introduced ctvs course after that only i joined marrow before that i was just uh, reading it just on a daily basis whatever i was finding interesting so marrow actually helped me a lot in matlab finish matlab giving a final touches to the topics whichever i was lacking so marrow helped me a lot but uh, there due to thesis also i had to go to the ctvs department a lot so i was 
मतलब क्वाइट ओरिएंटेड विद द सब्जेक्ट सो दैट हेल्प मी अ लॉट आई थिंक ओके सो ड्यूरिंग योर पोस्टिंग इटसेल्फ यू फिनिश्ड रीडिंग बेली द सिटी बेस पार्ट्स चैप्टर्स इन बेली यस मैम बेली एंड सबिस्टन आल्सो मैम आई हैड फिनिश्ड दिस मैम okay so uh, videos were mostly based on bailey and sabistan only only some topics yes. uh, i prepared for from shorts or uh, some textbooks but otherwise it were mostly from bailey and uh, sabistan only so i think you must have a revision after uh, hearing the videos uh, right yes ma'am uh, it was yes. more of a revision but uh, i could not brush up all those things due to my ms exams also coming up so videos helped me a lot in the last one and a half months of the book. i okay even while having my dinner and lunch time i used to watch ctvs videos only so that okay. i can it will not hamper my ms preparation as well as i will be simultaneously preparing for the entrance examination as well okay so uh, could you cover or could you watch all the videos uploaded in the uh, site before exam mm, most of the videos i watched uh, only thoracic part a little bit was left A, okay. a lot of topics were covered. I was able to watch them, okay. but uh, I had my MS exam four days just prior to. On the 29th, there was I N I S S examination, and 24 to 28, I was having MS examination. So oh. currently, it was a five to five five days back to back examination exams were going on. So videos helped me a lot. In the last day, also I watched almost all the videos on 2x and 3x speed. <laughs> okay okay so uh, it was it was wonderful because uh, having two exams uh, together but still you managed to uh, score good marks uh, but uh, how is the exam ini part 1 uh, like neat does it contain more questions on general surgery or it is 80% or more based on your uh, subject specialty of choice ma'am actually uh, it is uh, it is total 80 questions it has the Question paper had 80 questions and 30 questions were from general surgery and 50 were from CTVS. So it has okay. more weightage to the su- super specialty part. But uh, okay. I felt that general surgery, it was my first attempt only. But I felt that general surgery was very difficult. If I had not had my MS exam just before that, I might not have been able to attempt a lot of questions in general surgery. So okay. I think that MS examination also helped me played a very uh, important okay. role in. okay among this uh, specialty questions uh, where the questions covering all the areas in a uniform manner like adult uh, pediatric thoracic vascular or it was more concentrated on adult uh, or thoracic uh, like that um it was uh, mainly focus the exam was mainly focusing on the cardiac part but there were questions from the uh, thoracic part as well as vascular but uh, more questions were from the uh, cardiac part only and uh, i think uh, adult and pediatric both were having almost equal weightage only there were, i okay. um, i could not calculate exactly what amount was attributed to what section but uh, i think both of them were having equal weightage okay so uh, the pediatric part uh, because uh, uh, pediatric part is a little tough for most of the students uh, especially those who don't have a cts exposure so uh, i think uh, you uh, benefited from our videos because yes, that was the video which i prepared with great effort uh, the congenital yes, and both were uh, very good ma'am um, all the pathophysiology that you taught in the videos that was not clear in my headache matlab how the physiology is happening in the congenital heart disease a lot of the things which were written in the bailey i did not correlate what was the explanation behind all of that which was able which i was able to comprehend after watching your videos man so i think pediatric part was the most beneficial was the section which in which i benefited the most from your videos okay so you prepared your own notes uh, based on the videos uh, no, ma'am, I, I, i did not get time ma'am, because my exams okay. were coming up i was watching videos only while eating mostly <laughs> okay okay so did you did you at any time felt that uh, uh, the, if this would have been included in the video or this topic would have been covered in a little more elaborate way or if this was in uh, this was covered in uh, another method it would have been more useful 
so basically uh, do you suggest any modification in our uh, teaching uh, uh, mode or uh, the pptes uh, or, as per your preparation uh, experience um uh, in inass part 2 examination for the interview you held a session ma'am in that yeah. you told about the uh, various cardiac surgeons in but uh, i also prepared for that for the part 1 also but uh, they had asked some different people only the, the, there were almost 8 or 9 cardiac surgeon matlab question on cardiac surgeons which i was not able to attempt in part 1 part 1 yes ma'am and they those people were not the ones which were which are more commonly we read about in the books it was not okay. dental only or the more famous cardiac surgeons they were some thing different only i okay. when i went back and searched those surgeons it was very difficult to find in the books i had to go for the google okay uh, for example uh, one or two um, surgeons at present you... i don't remember exactly at that time i might have been able to recall at present okay. so i am not able to recall so other than uh, the videos and the basic textbooks suggested and bailey uh, did you use any other resource for preparation no ma'am it was uh, more of a matlab during my postings only if i had watched a case uh, there were two srs of in the ct vas department dr apeksha and dr vidur they taught they taught me a lot of things only those were the things which uh, might ha- which have helped me a little bit in the exam other than that i don't have any other skills so definitely your practical experience helped you a lot to understand yes, the subject ma'am. as well as read whatever you have heard or uh, uh, read in the textbooks right yes ma'am uh, there were some okay. case scenario questions also in the part 1 and part 2 all of the, those okay. things were i was able to attempt because of the posting only okay okay good okay so uh, lakshay as you have already decided uh, your final destination to aims so you are not uh, i hope you are not planning to write a neat exam but uh, other f- f- your friends and colleagues are uh, definitely writing them those who want ctvs uh, to pursue ctvs uh, so what would you like to tell them because uh, they have only a few weeks left so in the last minute preparations what would you like to uh, suggest them or as per your experience what would you like to tell them I'm actually I was not preparing for the need I was aiming for the INA only <laughs> and ma'am need okay. as I have heard from my seniors that it does not contain any super speciality matlab there are questions from every super speciality but it does not focus on the one which you are aiming for so I think okay. Bailey and Bailey and Love and Saviston are the ones matlab the books which I would have been referring to if I was preparing for need and some of my friends who, who have cracked neat in the last year they were they read only bailey and love matlab some of them read only bailey and still they were able to get in top 100 and one of one of them also read sebastian and he was also in the top 100 rank only so i think these yeah. two books play a very crucial role in cracking any entrance examination but uh, Yeah, as matlab i am not aware of what kind of questions the need is asking me okay so you focused on an exam and you cracked it it is very it's always nice to do so uh, so uh, if you look at any exams in the world like uh, in my experience also when you, whether you are appearing for your uh, frgs exam or any entrance examination so it is 3 months is very crucial so if you work sincerely and passionately for 3 months with good preparation you can crack any exams with top marks but there there need to be sincerity and passion <laughs> those are the things which need and you have to focus in that particular direction because as you said uh, ini exam is more concentrating on the specialties and neat is more concentrating on general surgery part have a, a so broader idea who, of getting ctv somewhere and uh, not very particular that they should get in institutes uh, will more concentrate on neat because they have more seats and they may be having in their own hometown institutes they may be go needing to go to some other places but uh, it's good that you uh, chose aims and i'm very happy that you are joining aims uh, wish you all the best and i wish you that your passion for this subject be in you uh, like this 
uh, for throughout your journey of nctvs okay so uh, this is a very wonderful subject and very exciting subject uh, never ending process learning process because new and new developments new procedures new technological advancements are coming coming up every day so it's it's a lot of new learning and you will definitely love it okay and wish you a good time in aims also okay thank you so much so, meet you sometimes in person okay so yeah. all the best lakshay okay. thank you thank you ma'am